Good morning. Thank you for joining me again. I thought that since I did the video the other day showing the exercises and we had not had an opportunity to take the actual workout that we did, that today I would offer a different uh, program for you to be able to do if you would like um, on your own. This will be a video that utilizes just one of those three modalities that we talked about and then adds in equipment. With that said, you can see that I have a rower, a treadmill, and an elliptical. Today I'll be using the elliptical and I'll also be using the rower. Rather than doing 40 seconds on and then a strength training exercise, I'll be doing 10 minutes of cardio. I've already warmed up on my elliptical for 10 minutes this morning. And then I'll be doing one set of the strength training using my stability ball and my free weights. I will be primarily working the upper body. As many of you know, I am a runner. So I am doing my long run tomorrow and don't want to overdo my legs today. With that said, I will do one set of squats with bicep curls and one set of lunges with overhead presses working my shoulders. But then the rest of the work will be on the stability ball and working my upper body. My heart rate did get to about 114 while I was on the elliptical and it will stay sustained at probably about 110 while I'm doing the strength training exercises because again, I'm going to be going from exercise to exercise with no rest in between them. Always working the large muscle groups to the small muscle groups. Um, in addition to that, I want to tell you that I have increased my weights today. The other day I was using 8 pounds. Today I'm going to go ahead and use 12 pounds so that I fatigue those muscles a little bit. Remember, we need to challenge those muscles as we're asking them to grow so that we do have adaptation, not only in our muscles, but also in our bone density, which is important for us as we age. So with that said, I'm going to change the focus from the cardio that I have just done. Again, I would do that to 10 minutes. And now I'm going to work into the strength training session that we'll be doing. I'm going to start with my stability ball and my 12 pound weights doing my squats on the wall as I demonstrated for you the other day. So I'm going to come down into that position to grab my weight. A little awkward for the first one. Again, position so that when I'm in the down, I've got 90 degrees in my knees. If you can only come to here in the beginning, that's absolutely fine. Now with this, I'm going to go ahead and integrate some bicep curls as well. You can do them individually or you can combine that. That will be the case with many of the exercises that we do today. So I'm going to start with just those squats. As I mentioned, the first day we could do 8 to 12 or 15 reps. Today I'm going to stay in about the 10 to 12 repetition range, always going until my muscle is fatigued, depending on the amount of weight that I'm actually lifting. So that is rep 6 or so. Now I'm going to add my bicep curls and curl for 8, 7, 6, Nice and slow and controlled. Five. Wrists are neutral. This is elevating my heart rate again because I'm using large muscle groups. Excellent. If my arms weren't fatigued yet, I would continue on with those. But the good news is they are. The next one that we're going to do is a step back or a stationary lunge. I'm going to start with stationary which I suggest for you as well. One foot is forward, the other foot comes back. Now I can be sure again that I stabilize my knee directly over my heel. I'm going to drop this back knee down towards the ground and then bring it back up. So you can see there's no movement in that front leg at all. You can also find this exercise on the wellness portal. Now I'm going to add an overhead shoulder press. That's four overhead shoulder presses and more legs to get the legs to the eight. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Four overhead, giving me a total of eight overhead. 
And now I'm going to continue on the lower body, picking up six, seven, eight. I'm going to go ahead and do two more to even up the both sides. There we go. So that gave me squats and lunges on my legs, and it gave me my overhead shoulder presses and also my bicep curls. We're now going to go ahead and come to the ball. Again, remember that I said my ball needs a little bit of inflation, but it's going to be acceptable for me today. I need to get around to doing that soon. I've got my weights in my hands already so that once I roll down, I can go ahead and do the movement. If that's uncomfortable for you, feel free to place your weights on the side and then you can go ahead and pick them up when you get to that position. So I'm going to roll down until again my head is supported, my hips are nice and high. In fact, I'm going to move back a little bit so that you can see my full hips. <clears throat> my head is supported, my hips are nice and low, my weights are out at that side movement. We did this the other day on the video. We're going to go ahead and do 12. Now I'm going to add a hip lift, squeezing my glutes, and my quadriceps are all working. My abdominals are as well. I'm going to do four more. I'm starting to feel it here. I haven't lost my form yet. You always want to stop if you start to lose your form, but you want those last two repetitions to be difficult to complete with proper form. This is a new exercise for you, chest flies. My palms are going to come together. I've got a slight bend in my elbows, and I'm going to open my arms and return as though I'm hugging a tree. Again, I can add those bridges if I'd like for a little more lower body work. Exhaling on the lift. This exercise is a little bit harder, so I probably won't get as many repetitions in. I'm starting to feel it at eight. And I'm going to go ahead and stop at 10 because that was difficult to complete, but I was able to do it with proper form. Sets two and three, I might not even get that much in. Now I'm going to roll back so my mid back is supported. If this is too hard for your neck, stay kind of where you were in this down position, but elevate, but lower your hips so your back is supported. My weight is directly over chest. This is a new exercise again. This is the pullover. Going to keep my arms straight, lower overhead. You'll feel the stretch in your abdominals. As you come up, you feel your chest and your back working. You lower back down again, and then back up to that stationary position. Exhaling as you bring it back up. My neck is nice and neutral. That's eight reps. I'm going to go ahead and go to 12. 10, lower my head because my neck's getting a little stiff. Last one. From here, I'm going to hold this position. My back is supported so I can do abdominals on the ball and just crunch. If that's too difficult, you can either bring the weight to chest level or you can place the weight on the floor. I like the extra challenge. Four more is going to bring me to 12. And last one, I'm going to give a super challenge here and just do little crunches.
and release. Coming back down, I'm going to support my head and go into my triceps. We do tricep kickbacks. This is, again, exactly the same movement, but a different positioning. So my shoulders and my elbows are going to stay stationary. Again, you could absolutely do this on the floor. I'm going to bend at those elbows, coming towards my forehead, and lift back up to the ceiling, keeping my wrists as neutral as I can. Because you've got gravity, you feel these a lot sooner. You can see I've dropped down to one 12 pound weight. Inhale, exhale. That's my eight, if my counting is right. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete four more. If you lose track, that's okay. Just go until you feel that fatigue. If you can get more than 15 or 20 repetitions, you're not working hard enough. So you want to increase your weights at that point. So you're getting your full feel by that 15 rep, hopefully, maybe up to 20. Here's the exercise that I mentioned is going to be a little bit more difficult for you to do if you don't have a stability ball on the floor. I do have a mat, so I'm going, your back's flat, now you've got that 90 degree, and you can just do continual crunches, or you can work those obliques in that way as well. We're working bridges and hamstring curls. My arms are to the side, my head is supported. For bridge, I'm just going to lift up, and down, and lift, and lower. If I did not have the stability ball, I would just place my feet about shoulder width and lift and lower within that position. Now, for the hamstring curls, this is definitely one of the best exercises I have ever found for hamstring curls. You're going to lift your hips, support your hands if you need to. And you can see my other dog joined me. You met my little dog, Bilbo, the other day, and now you've just met my older dog, Sophia. So from this position, you're going to lift your hips high, support them with your hands if you need to, dig your heels into the ball, pull the ball towards you, pushing into the ball, and extend back out. I guarantee you'll start to feel these by about the third or the fourth rep. I rarely get more than 12 reps in. Now, if you can, you want to place your arms on the side, but don't do that in the beginning because you will lose proper form, and then you're just going to lower back down for the rest of that hamstring curl. That's an incredibly good exercise for your hamstrings. You can also do a combination where you would lift, pull, push, and lower back down. You will need some towels. Um, so if you do not have a stability ball, you can do this with two rags, or you can buy inexpensive sliders which have a uh, huge um, repertoire of exercises that you can do with those as well. So I've closed up my mat so that I've got some bare floor at this point. One heel goes on the towels. I'm going to lay back down. I'm going to lift my hips up again, and I like to just position my heels, my hands underneath, and now I can just push out and pull back, and that's working the hamstrings as well. Again, you have to push into that floor fairly hard to get the actual work. Great hamstring exercise, and that's a hard muscle for us to work without a machine. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. And I did not time that work up, but I suspect it was less than 10 minutes. So now if I added that to my 10 minutes of cardio, I've got 20. I can double that and I've got 30 or I can even do five minute cardio segments and then the strength training and work through it that way. Have a great day.